today I made a decision to let some of my film cameras go. One by one, sold, boxed, and shipped. I was letting go of my collection, and it was all due to a philosophy that influenced my mindset. That philosophy goes like this. Why have 30 cameras when you can have one? Or maybe a couple really good cameras that you can rotate and actually put to use. I was tired of seeing these cameras just sit and collect dust. And the moment I realized that, I sold them and purchased this. This is the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. It's a rangefinder camera, which is something I'm not used to. I've always wanted a true rangefinder camera for street photography, but it wasn't until recently I decided to let some of my other film cameras go and purchase this one. I wanted a rangefinder camera to challenge myself. Having shot SLRs for over two years religiously, I wanted something new, as well as a new focal length. I opted for the 35mm instead of the 50 because just like SLRs, I've shot 50mm for the last two years.
You know, I've only owned this camera for a little under a week. I've shot it maybe three to four times, but it's already starting to sit inside of me. I've owned numerous cameras in the past, but for some reason there's something about the R2A that every time I go out to shoot it, I feel inspired. I feel in the moment. I feel I'm like in the zone. And uh, truthfully, I don't know what it is. Is it the dials? The paint? Or maybe just the elegance? I don't know. I sold 10 cameras for this thing, man. 10 cameras. On top of that, I also sold six pointy shoots just for the lens. So, you know, it was a big thing. It was a big thing to let go of a lot of my cameras in my collection. A lot of those things were personal favorites that I had sentimental value to them. But in the end, I don't regret it whatsoever. I think when I first started getting into film photography, I primarily cared more about the gear than the actual photos. I remember stockpiling cameras up all the way up to the brim of my room, you know, having 50 cameras, 60, 55, I think even had 100 cameras at one point. But when I first started shooting street photography, one of the common themes was something called minimalism. Being minimalistic within your gear, having one camera and one lens so it doesn't distract you from taking an image. And lately I've fallen into that and I kind of understand it now. There's really no point for me to have 30 cameras that I'm not going to use. I'd rather have maybe like two or three that I can rotate all the time and get good use out of it. Why didn't, why didn't I buy a Leica? <laughs> well, I think the reason why I kind of strayed away from Leica is that everybody else shoots a Leica. They're great cameras, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, they have solid build quality. The glass that you can put on there is phenomenal. But the Voigtlander Bessa R2A was the exact model that I wanted for a number of reasons. I like the black paint. Black is simple, it's easy. And you can make the argument saying, you know, you can get a Leica that is in the black paint. Uh, but, you know, Bessas are much cheaper. Also, keeping that in mind, the Bessa actually can take that Leica and mount glass. And so, down the road, if I ever want to invest in some Leica stuff, I can always put that glass onto this camera. But yeah, that's the truth. Um, I went down from 30 cameras to five, and currently the five that I own are the Nikon F3. I also have the Olympus OM2N, OM2SP. Of course, my favorite camera, the Minolta X700. And last but not least, the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. Even though, I really like the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. It's still Minolta gang. <laughs>